Hey everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I am bringing you a, another speed paint and I am using watercolor again because I am really into using watercolor. I think it's probably one of my favorite things to use. Right now I really want to get into maybe trying gouache. I do have some gouache, but it's not that great of quality, I guess. It was just some really cheap gouache that I found, and I really wanted to try it, but it's super, super, super chalky, and I don't know about the brand. I think I might try it again sometime, but maybe a different brand or maybe try this brand again maybe on a different type of paper um, because it might have been the paper I was using I'm not really sure but I just want to go ahead and mention the materials that I used today um, I used Van Gogh watercolors I used um, a little bit of the Koi watercolors from the travel palette that Sakura has that I used last time I also used a Strathmore watercolor paper, this time in the 400 series instead of the 300 series, which says um, that it's the best quality paper on the front of the package. It's like um, brown colored instead of yellow. I do actually like this paper a little more than the 300 series. It's a thicker and um, the texture seems to be different as well and I think it takes watercolor better as well and it holds water better but it is supposed to be the best quality of their watercolor papers and also I am using varying different paint brushes like from last time I always use the same paint brushes and of course I am using water now at the end I did use some random acrylic paint but it's just like white acrylic paint just I don't know it's like a cheap brand not really sure but just a tiny bit of acrylic um, for the background splatters so yeah this was really I don't know difficult to paint I have never done like watercolor flowers before. I've done Copic flowers, but never any watercolor flowers. And this was just, I don't know, not really an experiment, just some practice. And um, I'm not really too fond of how the flowers came out, but I do like how the moth turned out in the front. And I wanted your attention to be at the moth. That's why I kind of centered the moth and um, kind of you know made it the center of attention because I wanted you to be drawn to the moth I think that these Luna moths are really really pretty and um, I don't know I just think they're really really pretty and I really wanted to draw something naturey but I think the one thing that bothers me about this painting is how the flowers kind of look not cartoony but they have that harsh outline that I did and I didn't really mean to do that I mean, it was kind of an accident and I didn't know how to fix it so I just went with it um, but you know it's just practice and everyone makes mistakes every now and then it's just kind of something that happens and you're not always gonna really like everything that you put out it just you know takes time to get better and practice at what you're wanting to get better at so I really want to get better at watercolor now I've been painting um, a lot using watercolor um, like I said I want to use gouache and stuff too and then here as you can see I just wanted to say this really quickly uh, I'm doing the background and I put some salt on the background to give it kind of a rough looking texture and you'll see just in a second um, when it comes back and it's dried I had to wait forever for the background to dry it literally took probably an hour 
to dry. And um, as for total time, this took about two hours to paint. So it was fun. I think the outcome looks okay. It's not my favorite thing I've ever painted, but like I said, it's practice and um, I just wanted to share this painting with you guys and I hope that you really like it. And also, if you want to, you can follow me on my social medias. You can follow me on my Twitter and that is where I mainly post. Um, I post a lot of work in progress shots and you can talk to me on there. If you want to say howdy or what's up, or if you just want to talk about art supplies or anything, Twitter is the ble best pay ble I can't even speak. Um, Twitter is the best place to talk to me on. Um, I also have an Instagram, which I don't post as often there, like I said last time, but I do have one if you're interested in following me there as well. And yeah, thank you guys so incredibly much for watching. And if you have any suggestions on what I should paint next, then you can definitely leave those suggestions in the comments below. And I hope you all have an amazing day. And remember to smile because you guys are so worth it. You're amazing. And I really think that you guys can do anything you put your mind to. If you want to be an artist, you can be an artist. And just keep practicing and do what you love doing is all I'm trying to say. So I just want to say thank you guys so much again for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe because I would love to have you a part of this little art family that I have going on here. We can all chit chat about the art steps because um, I love art friends. So yeah, thank you guys so, so, so incredibly much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.